here with the Ontaveros family, who will be my family for the Parenthood series. Um, it will be a mini series, so these videos will be half as long. Um, and so I wanted to go ahead and introduce you guys to the family. So this right here is Chloe Ontaveros, and I may say the last name differently every single time, but I'm going to try to remember it because it was totally different and I wanted something different. So that's why I went with this one, even though I can barely pronounce it. <laughs> But anyway, um, this is her. She was a successful, successful lineage. Um, and then she is the, um, she wants a family, she's family oriented, a foodie, and she's very cheerful. So if you go up close, I think I did a fabulous job on her. I'm so proud of myself because I don't do these things very well. <laughs> So look at her, she's so pretty. So yeah, definitely loving the makeup. I'm loving the hair, the skin tone, all of that. I just, I'm just loving it. And um, I just put her in just some really cute little clothes. This shirt is from the Parenthood pack. I'm not sure about the pants. I really wasn't focusing on getting everything parenthood as far as the clothes um but um like i said i'm not really sure um but yeah this is her um and i just absolutely love these little shoes they're just so cute so this is chloe and she is just like yay i'm happy to be alive and so this is one of her everyday outfits this is outfit number two, and I really like this outfit. I put all my Sims in this outfit. Um, this is outfit number three, and I like this one too, and I like those shoes. And then for her formal wear, um, nothing, nothing too, you know, out of the way, but I mean, I would think like, you know, going to work, and I really like these glasses. And the fact that they actually sit on the face correctly. So um, some of them are like they sit way down here on the bridge of the nose. And I don't really like that. Um, but these set up right. So I was very, very happy about that. So this is her outfit. And yeah. And then her um, workout clothes. Just basic. Just a regular every day of the meal, you know, workout outfit. All the makeup stays the same. Once I've got it, I really did not want to change it. So there's her nightgown outfit. She only has one. Or a sleeping outfit. And then this is her party outfit. I love this hat. Look at that. That is so cute. And the little earrings and stuff. And it just goes with her. Like, it just goes. I'm, I'm, you don't understand, guys. I'm so proud of myself. So I just thought this was like really different, this whole look. I've never really done anything like this before and it really spoke to me. So I really, really liked it. Um, so we went on ahead with that. And then the last thing is her swimwear. And she only has one outfit for the rest of these. Um, as we play on, I will add more outfits and stuff. But um, this is her swimwear with the little peekaboo underneath there and some shades on so yeah so that is Chloe and then this is her husband Jonathan we can get him to go okay so this is Jonathan he is wants to be a super parent um, creative music lover and he's a romantic so I don't know how to do guys but I think I did pretty good I mean you know nothing fancy or anything like that you know but I did like this little beard thing and I'm not really a beard person but I guess the way his shape and stuff is I just it didn't look right he didn't look right without it I kind of liked him with it more so um, he really likes the color black so most of his clothes have black in them or they're all black or <laughs> as you can see but he looks good in it so it was just like why not so that's one of his everyday outfits here's another one pretty relaxed I love the loafers you know it's just a 
simple plaid shirt, you know, hanging out with Henley underneath, so, you know, that's cool. And then for um, dressing up, there you go. I love to see pink on guys. Um, I don't know, it's just really, really cool. And they just look very, they just look good to me. Um, and then his athletic wear, um, just basic, you know, nothing much. Just nice and simple because he's going to be getting all sweaty in it anyway. So, pajamas. Um, and then party wear, so when he goes out and everything, and then his swimwear, just, you know, basic again. And then this is our daughter, Carmen. She is, oh, I didn't choose that. Oh, she's, okay, so she's a toddler. How cute is she? Look at her with her little burgundy pinks on. I love it. <laughs> and I like her hair so I think that's so cute she's so adorable so this is her um everyday outfit and then number two with her little Jordans on all her red so I thought that was cute and then oh I just deleted number three did I really just do that accident okay Whew. Um, and there's number three, you know, when she wants to, you know, when she's feeling girly. So I have that. And then for her formal wear, I put her in this little outfit. I thought this was so cute. I love that little dance that they do. And then for her night, night time, just a shirt, you know, she don't really need no bottom. She's a baby. And then for her party outfit, I just did the whole, you know, dark colors with a pop of color of the yellow shoes. And I think that's so cute. So she's a toddler. And then her brother, Jonathan Jr., he is a musician. So he's pretty much following after his dad. So he is a child. He will be aging up. Um, they'll be aging up, you know accordingly so he'll become a team first before her all that stuff but this is him and as you see you know he convinced his dad to get the little earrings on you know cuz he gonna be just a little lady killer I just I just know it he's so cute he gonna be like mm, let me see how many I can get on my little notch little necklace I thought that was cute um so yeah so this is him go through his outfit um, I didn't finish all of his as far as his every day, um, but there's his formal, and of course, you know, take the earrings out, and then um, back to sports, and then his nighttime apparel, um, his party wear, and you know, once you get back to the party, God, I had to bling bling. And then, of course, um, his swimwear. And yeah, he's like his dad, you know. Like, I mean, come on. He, you look at him. necklace, earrings, really. I know, I'm just setting this kid up. <laughs> so, that is the family, you guys. I'm really happy to play with them. And so, we are going to um, go ahead and go back out because I don't want to save any changes. And then we are going to go to the house. The house I built for them is from uh, Rory Builds. Uh, Rory plays the sim. She does a building challenge every month where she gives um, a couple of different builds for you to build. Um, and so this one was the month of May and she has already come out with a june one it's a little bungalow like a little beach bungalow which i will be trying to do that um later on this month and i'll of course post it because it's small so i can go ahead and record it this one was two floors two stories um pretty big i mean it's got a bonus room it has um four bedrooms um it's supposed to have a, a two-car garage but i turned the garage into a music room it has an office space which now that I'm thinking did I actually complete that space I don't think so I don't know um, the kitchen the living room and you know all that stuff so we're gonna take a tour of that once the game loads up and yeah I'm really excited for you guys to see the house and then we are going to go ahead and go into some gameplay um, 
while I was building Jonathan Jr. JJ had already did some craziness on the sidewalk like he was pretty much marking his territory like this is my house and this is you know my stamp y'all will see as soon as I, uh, the game uploads so all right so let's go ahead and zoom out let's see if I can zoom out here yeah see this right here I mean he was like, I was building the foundation. He was already on it. Like, hey, I am marking it. Like, what? So I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Pause. Because I don't want them to be, I don't know. Well, I don't think I have to pause. No, I just let them do whatever. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Um, this is, no, nope, that's not a good view. I was going to say, let me put all the walls up. All the walls up there we go is that all everything up walls up okay so let me try to get these cameras in position so that way we can see what we're doing all right so this is the house right here I know that's kind of crazy but yeah there's the house as you guys can see it is a um, two-tone for the siding so you have regular siding on one part of the house and then as an accent you have some marble siding over where it's like a lot and lots of windows and um, look at Carmen in the window she's just playing around how cute is that so we are going to go ahead and get into the house here let me see if I can go a little bit faster there we go so when you walk in um, the first thing you see is the living room well the first thing you see basically is the kitchen on um, the dining room but we are gonna go over here into the little side room this is like a little playroom um, that I created for them just to just you know be able to be downstairs and playing that way they're not playing in the living room um, so there's a little drawing table, the Lego table, and just a couple of little things. I mean, they have stuff in their room, but for the most part, um, that's, you know, that's the room right there. So, and then when you go this way, right by the front door is the bathroom. It's the guest bathroom. So... Um, when you have guests they can go ahead and use it I really like the way this bathroom came out um, it's just very sleek and casual I love the um, the curtains that I found the curtains are custom content they are not part of the pack um, and then yeah I just really like the way that look um, over here is a feature wall um, I, it was just a blank wall and I honestly did not know what to do with it so I turned it into a big old huge plant feature wall yeah and it came out really nice look at that so I'm really really happy about that right there and then when you turn around you have the living room and so um, just some plants that are hanging on the wall obviously I gotta bring the TV down some um, and uh, there's that table that everyone is the center table everyone is in love with um, I've not put any knickknacks and stuff on it just yet um, but I will be doing you know as the gameplay goes on I will be adding little things here and there so the curtains I really like that picture city view of I'm gonna call it Chicago <laughs> um, so it looks really nice um, I can't really call it the New York anymore because you know what happened so anyway um, so we're gonna go ahead and go into the office here very um, basic there's another one of those pictures I'm gonna say that is um, Florida Panama Beach at the end of the pier and nothing really too much in here um, that chess piece is an actual light and then just some books and stuff but this is just like a basic room um, nothing really fancy in here or anything like that you know so we come on out of there and then we head on into the kitchen so 
let's see yep head on into the kitchen and here is the dining room area and then as you can see we have some items over here on the wall we have some items here on the wall like their drawings and little menus and then over here is the um, board the little I think they're calling it a chore board so we have that and then um, yeah here's the kitchen so Go sit down somewhere. <laughs> anyway, so here's the kitchen. Um, I went on ahead and put the Close refrigerator it. over here. I put the refrigerator on this side. Um, and then, like, just some shelvings, a little spice rack hanging on the wall there. I heard that you can actually interact with the refrigerator so that's gonna be interesting I really do like these new shelves from the new um, family pack they it, they make the kitchen look so much better I mean like look at this you guys everything it just oh, it just looks better the backsplash the countertops oh I'm just so happy they finally paid attention to us and listened to us and gave us new counters new cabinets and then cabinets with things like oh I'm just so in love with it all um, so there's the new curtains over there I did a little half thing because usually in kitchens you don't have full curtains you have half this back door leads um, to the backyard um, which we can go out there since we're here because there is the patio right here and um, so we have just a little grill a bar and um, a little sitting eating table and then that bar actually or that hanging lamp hanging fern is actually a lamp is hidden in there so that'll pop on at night and then this is the backyard um, you have the slip and slide mom the monkey bars and then over here if we can just zoom in I really like this tree with the lanterns I'm gonna put like some little seat set under there um, but then I built this so that way I was gonna put the arcade game out here but then I was thinking how are you gonna run electricity out here I don't know what I was thinking but anyway I just made like a little patio thing for them to like go outside and play and I'm assuming that this little thing is like the little split block thing so I'm not sure but the backyard is like plain for right now um, we will you know expand that and then I'm gonna put a privacy fence around everything so that way you know a lot of people just aren't walking up into you know their yard and using their stuff so as you go through this um, archway right here you run into the pantry so that's like a broom closet with all the mops and stuff in it and then this is just like food storage potatoes rice whatever you want to call it more um, storage and then you know boxes of fruit is what I'm gonna consider that and then you go here and then this is the music room so because her husband and her son are both musically inclined I went on ahead and put a karaoke um, karaoke thing in here keyboard um, a DJ booth and then also a guitar um, if they had a drum set I would have put a drum set <laughs> and this door also leads to the backyard so that way everybody doesn't have to tr drudge through the kitchen necessarily um, but yeah they can go through there so um, but yeah that's that part and then we are going to go ahead and head upstairs and I'm gonna see how well I'm able to I'm navigating this pretty good so far so nope can't do it that way okay <laughs> I thought we could just kind of float upstairs so let's go out of tap mode go down one level do let's see do this and then up that way down all right is that gonna do it yes all right so we go up the steps 
and then when we come up the steps this is the hallway I have not put it's just a, a hallway with um, all the you know the doors so those doors lead to the bedroom and the bathroom this door oh I forgot to put a thing on his door so this is the little this is Carmen's um, bedroom and then the middle door is JJ's bedroom um, but I need to change his door and put like a nice little fun door on his so when you come up the steps there's a half wall and then here is the laundry room very basic um, washer machine you know clothes rack for those I it's one of those this um, is I'm calling it the LG washer dryer combo um, which they do have out in you know real life and it washes first and then after it washes it dries so yeah and then like this is just a hanging rack you know to hang those clothes and then the kids of course always leave clothes right by the basket instead of throwing it in the basket you know I mean how how real can you get with that and so this is the workout room and we have the treadmill the boxing the yoga mat the meditation and then mirrors um, completely around so um, and it is open um, to the rest of the hallway there because I just wanted an open space um, I don't know why she's going into her room but we'll wait for her to come out in the meantime we will go into the bathroom that the oh my gosh I just thought about it. this is the bathroom that the kids will be using and I forgot to put a shower in here so <laughs> this is just the um like the towels and stuff I didn't want to put shelves so I just put a shelving unit in there and then of course double sinks for him and her the um Carmen and JJ and then this is the um, bathroom but again there's no shower in here I forgot to put the shower in here it's supposed to be in here and I totally forgot about it so I will do that off camera but yeah that's the bathroom and then you go out there and then JJ's room is right next door so this is his room typical boy look at all that mess on the floor like oh my gosh so here is his room um, you know his little closet he has his um, bookshelf or not bookshelf his desk to do his homework on his sports bed and all that stuff I mean you know typical teenage room I'm sorry I'm moving the camera around so fast typical teenage room so um, yeah it's it's you know I like it I like the colors and stuff and all the little oops wrong way all the little you know cool things on the wall that kind of stuff there you get a really good view of it so um, I thought that was really nice and then he's got like his window he's got like two windows so um, you go ahead and come out of his room and we go into Carmen's room oh, oh, oh. and I like her room it's very very pretty oh they're both in here okay so this is Carmen's room and very pink um, I do like pink and so I gave her all shades of pink and purples and um, those shears right there are from the family pack shears and then the little night light which I've heard keeps the ghost away um, not the ghost the monsters and stuff away so we'll see so this is her room she's got her bookshelf her toys her little dollhouse the little lights and everything there's her brother playing with some stuff um, I like her little lanterns and everything and then she has her little mirror and all that stuff so that's that is um, Carmen's room so yeah I think it's really cute and all the bedrooms have carpet I did not want to put hardwood floors in the bedrooms because I personally don't like hardwood floors in bedrooms I think your bedroom should be nice and cozy and when you wake up in the morning your feet should be just as warm as you so we are gonna go ahead and go into the finally the master suite and what a suite it is so this is the master suite um, the entire suite is custom content 
um, I have been dying to use this set once I found it it reminds me of um, like Japanese type um, type furniture and so I was really really excited to use it um, but yeah the entire room guys is custom content all the way down to the rug um, so yeah I absolutely love it well that plant up there with the flop with the butterflies isn't but the lights are um, definitely custom content and I like this like burnt orange um, color that I have chosen I don't I've never used it before um, it's like a orangey pink but I really like it um, it's just kind of nice warm colors and it speaks to me and then so this is the first part of the bathroom that you walk into so you have your sink for you to you know wash up wash your face and then the bathtub which is again obviously custom content um so yep that's that and then you go here and there is the shower um, as well as in here you have the toilet so it is a water ooh, it is a water closet and that's the only thing that's in here and then after that you come into the closet it's a walk-in closet and um, it is somewhat tiny but it serves its purpose so you have her stuff hanging up his stuff hanging up and then they have a wardrobe which is also custom content it goes with this um, this um, drawer that says uh, home like every day it's part of a set so you know the rest of their wardrobe is in that closet and then of course you know the shoes and all that kind of stuff so that right there ladies and gents is the entire house and um, he has went on ahead and gone to sleep I'm gonna get out of the cinematic mode um, what is she doing she is cooking oh look at that that is such a good view wow that is so nice like I really like that view that's pretty cool so we are gonna go ahead and find out where the rest of the kids are um, okay so he sleep she sleeps so you're the only one that's awoke reach level two she has learned recipes for eggs toast BLT chips salsa fish tacos and learned a cool new combo at trick move nice Chloe nice um, so I am going to just go ahead and end this part right here I don't want to get into an actual let's play but I did want to go ahead what is this I did want to go ahead and um, show you guys the house and everything so that way you guys could see what I have been doing over the last couple of days in creating this and I am thoroughly excited about it oops I'm so excited about it um, happening so I will be um, getting a video out to you for this let's play actually later on today because I'm recording this and it is 1 37 in the morning so <laughs> A let's play will come out probably around uh, noon or one o'clock for this so I will talk to you guys later thanks for stopping by and have a great evening ciao